Hi, I'm Kristen. This is Crafting with Kristen. Today we're going to be doing a project with very minimal supplies that's pretty easy because I'm sure you guys are super bored being cooped up in your houses on quarantine. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking an old band t-shirt and some preferably sewing scissors. But if you don't have sewing scissors, you can totally use craft scissors instead. And we're just going to be taking your old shirt and shredding it up. Not that tight. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So, let's go ahead and get everything together and we're going to rip and tear through some fabric. Not that type of rip and tear. No. no. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need is to get your band t-shirt ready and get your fabric and or craft scissors, whatever you'll be using. You can lay the shirt out on the floor to do this. I'm doing it on the mannequin so you can kind of get an idea of where I'm cutting on the shirt. You can also try on the shirt and kind of mark off where you want slashes and stuff like that on there. That can be a helpful way to do it, or you can just kind of wing it. So the first thing I'm doing is cutting off the seam along the sleeves. I've already cut off the seam along the bottom of this shirt. Now what you'll see when I take it off the other one, I'm gonna give you a little demo here. The reason why we're doing that, see when I stretch it, it doesn't get all stringy and kind of hang down all nice, so that's why we're getting rid of that. All right, now I'm gonna start making slashes along the sleeve. As I'm doing that, I'm cutting little strips and stretching them out like this. The best way to get them to drape in a aesthetically pleasing looking way is to just kind of start with a very large slash along the bottom and kind of make a triangle shape as you go up. So I'm making little snips of where I'm gonna have each one. And then I'm just gonna make them wider as I go along, kind of following that triangle shape. And that's just gonna make everything kind of lay and drape in a really cool looking sort of way. Just like that. And it's always easier to just take off more fabric than it is to put fabric back together. So I start with small little cuts and then I just gradually start to tear and stretch at them as I go along until it looks just right. All right now that we got one sleeve done, now we're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side. We're just cutting thin little strips of fabric as we go along and we're creating a triangle pattern as we go up. So once you get to the top of the sleeve, you're gonna want it to be a lot smaller than the slashes that you're putting at the front of the sleeve, or the bottom of the sleeve. Get that all good and stretched out. Now we're gonna start making some slashes along the front. Now this one was a shirt that was a hand-me-down from one of my friends. I'm not super into the whole uh, designer fashion where they kind of rework uh, popular band logos, so I'm just going to cut into that. If it were a GBH shirt, I would actually uh, keep the logo visible, but since I'm not super into that, I'm just going to go ahead and slash all that up so it kind of gives the impression that maybe it used to be one of those type of shirts. I'm putting really big slashes along the shoulders and that's just going to kind of complement all the draping that we have on the sleeves. The bigger cuts you make, the more it's kind of going to create this sort of like hanging sort of thing where it really kind of hugs the body. And along the bust, I'm just kind of making small little holes just to kind of give it some uh, give it some texture and kind of keep a consistent look, but maybe not something so much where a nipple's going to hang out. But if you do wind up cutting too much and it's a little bit more skin than you're really comfortable showing, you can always wear a contrasting colored like tank top or t-shirt underneath and it'll look just fine. 
and I'm kind of going a little random as I start to cut up this area. I'm kind of just putting slashes in and stretching them out and then if it doesn't look right I'm making it a little bit bigger or putting another one underneath until it drapes just like I like. A lot of it I'm following the wherever I make a really big slash I gradually start to make it a little bit smaller as I go up or down. Just gonna cut some little slashes in this little space in between the graphic. I like doing that a lot. I kind of got that idea from this uh, designer that I follow called uh, Peep Show Clothing. She does a lot of projects like this that are absolutely insanely cool. She's kind of the master at this technique. So I would highly recommend checking out her Instagram. She also has a YouTube account and you can get some inspiration there. Or if your projects don't turn out really cool, you could always buy something from her. Support a local artist. Now next I'm gonna start cutting some slashes along the bottom. I'm gonna follow that same kind of technique where I make sort of a triangular shape. I'm doing these ones super wide. I really, really like uh, the way it looks when you have these really long draping pieces over the leg. Now you might kind of notice that when I don't have the pieces towards the top cut, it has this awkward kind of boxy look the way that it, it drapes. So that just kind of visualizes for you why that triangular shape kind of gives you the draping pattern that you want. And then learning little details like this will help you when you start to kind of slash up shirts like this and you'll be like, something looks kind of weird or it's not hanging the right way. It took me a while to practice and get used to this. All right, now I'm doing the exact same thing to the other side. I'm making some big old long slashes along the bottom of the shirt and I'm just gonna follow that triangular pattern given a couple little decorative slashes in between just so it kind of has a nice sort of uniform look. I feel like with projects like this, as weird as it seems, kind of more is better. The more cuts you make along it, the more it kind of just becomes this whole like, almost like wearing a fishnet shirt, except it's not a fishnet shirt, if that makes sense. Just a bit, yep, there we go. Get it all stretched out and let's take a look at how it's draping. I like that, but like I was saying, uh, you know, if you see something where it's hanging a little awkward, just keep cutting at it and stretching it until, until you get the right shape. And I feel like we're almost done with the front side, but it still needs a couple more touches. So I'm just gonna put a lot of small holes just kind of in a random sort of fashion along here. I'll usually like pinch a piece and then cut along that fold and then I'll fold another little piece and make a couple little snips here and there, stretch them out and see where it goes. You can also kind of like neat, create neat little diagonals where you kind of follow a pattern or you can just kind of do the controlled chaos method and just cut, cut, cut in random little places. And I'll widen up a couple of these stretch them out just so I get that nice drape that I was talking about. That looks pretty good. Now we're gonna move to the back side of it. So what I'm gonna do for the back after I finish getting this sleeve to drape just a little bit better is I'm gonna try my best to cut a straight line of small holes all along the back side. And the way that I'm doing that is I'm kinda just pinching the fabric, and then just making little slashes in it. 
all the way down to the bottom. And that'll kind of give me a guideline for uniformity along the back. And I'm kind of going to try to make these slashes almost look like uh, the back of a rib cage. So I'm do using the same technique to make little slashes up and down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically kind of make an upside down triangle where they're going to be widest at the shoulder blades. Now this is really easy because I'm using a mannequin, but if you're doing it on your own body, you might want to put the shirt on inside out and then mark it with like Taylor's chalk or a watercolor pencil with the shape that you would want and where it should exactly lay. I'm trying my best to uniformly do it the exact same way on the other side of the shirt. If you're OCD about having it super perfect, I would advise laying it on the ground and drawing everything with Taylor's chalk or with a watercolor pencil, and you'll get a much more uniform sort of thing going on. But I just wanted to do something simple and something kind of impulsive for this tutorial. And there it is, our finished project. If you enjoyed doing this project, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if there's any projects you want to see in the future, drop a comment and let me know. Thanks for watching.